Hi everybody, thank you so much for your time and thank you for tuning in. So in this session, I'm going to show you how to create your first loop project using Studio One 6 Prime. So for those of you who have not downloaded the Studio One yet, I have a video that in my channels you can refer to to install for Mac and also for PC users. So for those of you who have already downloaded, you can just simply launch your app and you will see this page. Now, what I'm using a Mac to do the demo. So for, for Windows um, users, you may have a little difference in terms of the UI, but in general, it should be the same, right? So once you launch the app, what you are seeing over here on the top left, click on the new button, okay? So click on the new button and it will give you a new project. So let me just click it for you. Now, so from here, you will see that there is template, there is user. So what we need to do is go to template, select record and mix. On the right side, okay, the right side, the right side, you can put in your name. So over here, you can put in the name of the project. Um, the sample size, we can just leave it as 48 and the rest, you can just make it as a default. Okay, so let me just put it over here as test and hit OK. Then you will come to this main home page of Studio One. All right. So over here on my right, you will see basically the uh, the, the information that we need. OK, so you will see a loop tab over here. Now, if you cannot find this, what you need to do is go to the bottom. OK, so let me just remove myself temporarily, move myself on the to the left so that you can see. So at the bottom, okay, let me zoom in for you. You will see a browse icon from here, okay? So you can click on the browse if you have not be able to see the the bars, okay? So the information is over here. You can click the browse one time, you should be able to see, okay? Now, so once you've seen this, let me zoom it out. So from here, you go to the loop tabs, okay? So the loop tabs is over here. So from here, you will see the loops under classical, electronic, and rocks, and the world, whatever, so forth, and so on. Now, for those of you who can't find this, it's likely you have not installed the library yet. So how do you install the library? Let me just show you now. I need to move myself again from the left to the right so that I can sh you can I don't block your view. So what you need to do is go to the top of your selection. So for the uh, for the Mac users, actually um, here you don't get to see. So I have actually a under Studio One, you will have a preference. Uh, you can see the preference keyboard shortcut language etc. Go to Studio One installation. Same thing goes to Windows users. You should be able to see Studio One installation, okay? So when you click on Studio One installation, you will see all this file. So what you need to do basically just select and then select all these items and then install them, okay? Now, um, you can do all this, right? So for the sake of the demos, I will not install because I have some, uh, I have some loops and files in the in the software already right now next thing once you've installed the loops file next thing what we need to do is to create a track so how to create a track you have to add a track so you go to top left okay so you see this plus buttons over here click it then once you click it and um, you will be able to see another pop up let me zoom it out okay so this one under here, you can select audio and then you put the name. Uh, for me, I put it loop and then choose your favorite color. So once it's done, you just hit OK. All right. So let me just do that. Hit OK. All right. So now let me zoom out. You will see your track over here. Right. So what we need to do basically is to move the loops from here to the track okay now let me show you the amazing about this loop thingy 
when you select, let's say for example, let me select a rock drum loop, for example. So when I select this drum loop, I can audit the sound by first option, double click. But if let's say I like this very much, what I need to do is click So I can just drag it over and then I can then click on top of here to move the browser and press the space bar to play Now I have a drum loop already I can extend the drum loop or I can find some other interesting percussion loops from here. I can also drag it over. Okay? So you can drag it over and extend as long as you want to. But of course, we set it as five minutes. Now, you can also duplicate the, the, the tracks. Let's say for duplicate the, um, the loops if you want to, the loop sample. So what you need to do is click, uh, left click, and select and then hold options on Mac and hold the alternate for the PC so you will see a, a, a star button okay maybe let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can see clearer okay so let me just do it here okay now so over here when you press and hold your alt on that file you can see this plus button right right so what you need to do basically is to select the track on the below uh, the lower part of your sample and click and hold alt and then click and drag it's just like normal uh, computer uh, shortcut key and then from here you can see okay. now the same thing if you want to add another track what you need to do basically just create and add another track from here on the top okay now let me just um, zoom out so that you can see okay so same thing so from here you zoom and then press okay so let me show you another way to do it and then this will give you a little bit more flexibility so let's say if, um, so in this case what I need to do is instead of select the audio I can select instrument Okay, so let me put a name called loop one and I choose another favorite color let's say for example blue and hit OK so once I've done it over here you will see I created a second track so in this case um, I will need a let's say for example a, a piano maybe okay or guitar so let's say I want a guitar loop okay so now let me choose a guitar sound. So let's say I like this nylon steel. So I can audition by click the play below. I'm happy with it. I stop. I can click, hold and drag over below over here. Now you may notice that there is actually a difference between these two files. One is with a wave file. The other one is probably with a MIDI. For those of you who are not familiar so with MIDI, uh, it basically is like the signal that we tell the software, but there's literally no sound. But of course, in this case, the sound already been uh, pre-fixed, so you can still hear the sound from here, okay? Now, let me just zoom out a little bit. So let's back to the, let's back to here, okay? So when you double click on that MIDI sound, okay, or you click on edit, you will see this MIDI portal. So from here, you can actually change the note of the sound. So instead of a A minor chord, I can actually move it and become, of course, the MIDI piece doesn't fit uh, in your uh, range of sound, then it sounds a little weird. But in this case, actually, it gives you some flexibility, okay, in terms of... Right. So you've just created your first loop, congratulations! And what you need to do is basically go to your file and then save it. Um, and that's it. You will save it and then from there, you can 
continue to work on your loops. All right. So I'll see you another in another video. Take care and bye bye.